You? You clicked on this video? <sighs> Can we just do the happy dance for a second? that you clicked on this video because this is one of my favorite things to talk about plus more than likely if you clicked on this video you are getting ready to purchase your first horse and believe you me I know how exciting that is that is amazing congratulations that being said if you're considering getting ready to get your first horse here are five ways you can tell that you are ready to take the plunge sign number one is that you've been riding for a little while now and you can't really see yourself leaving the equestrian world anytime soon. Some people, they will get on a horse, they'll take lessons for a couple of weeks, they'll be hooked, and they will be all kinds of gung-ho to get out there and go purchase that first pony. But you know what? Horses take a lot of work and sometimes you don't really realize that when you've just had a couple of lessons. So take your time, feel it out, test all of those lesson horses that you've been riding, see what you like, what you don't like, and really decide if this is what you want to do. Some people think they want to be an equestrian, then they get started on it and it's all hunky-dory at first and then they kind of lose interest over time. You don't want to have that happen when you also have this ginormous 1200 pound animal to take care of. Sign number two is that you have some sort of income coming through. Look, horses are expensive. It's just the way of things. They're huge, they eat a lot, they poop a lot, they have to live someplace that's not your house. Horses take a lot of resources. And even if you're younger, you can still help out your parents in trying to take care of at least some of the expense. So either you're older and you have a job that covers your expenses plus a little bit extra, or you're younger and you discuss it with your parents. You say, hey, can, there, can I take over any responsibilities around the house? Or, hey, can I start this new business idea? Just be creative. Think outside of the box and be sure that you're bringing in at least a little bit of income so that you can assist with the finances of the whole situation. Sign number three is that you are not afraid of work. Horses are fun. You get to go out there, you can canter all you want, or lope, or whatever you Western people do. You get to go out there and jump, and rain, and you get to go on trail rides, and just all kinds of really cool, awesome stuff with these horses. However, it's during the downtime that you really get your dedication tested. Because, guess what? Horses are living things, and they're big living things. You have to be willing to clean out stables, do a ton of grooming, get out there in the freezing cold weather, if you live in a freezing cold place, and feed your horse. Go out there, make sure that they're warm. Make sure that they are well taken care of. And these horses, it's not going to be rainbows and butterflies all the time. Not to mention if you get a younger horse or a horse that hasn't quite been finished, you're gonna have a lot of work ahead of you then too in trying to train the horse and get the horse moving a little bit better. Or if they're hot, then you have to be patient and you have to be willing to ride it out and you have to be willing to figure out different possibilities and different problems and different puzzles that all have to do with this living sentient creature. Sign number four is that you have talked it over with your parents or your spouse. Yes, I'm talking to both kids and married people. If you're single and just living by yourself, then discuss it with your budget. You're willing to talk to other people who have more experience than you or who also have a say in your decision making, in your budget or in your household. And so you are on the same page and so you're not going behind anybody's back. I know there are a lot of jokes out there about wives going behind their husband's backs to go get more horses or whatever. Don't do that, girls. Come on. Also, having an outside opinion can really help you stay grounded because this is a really exciting, emotional, motivating time for you. You don't want to have your feet leave the ground too soon. And the final sign, and the most important sign, that you are ready for your first horse is that you understand the responsibility and commitment that this animal costs. You cannot just go out there and purchase a horse and then dump it a couple of weeks later. That's just unethical and it's inhuman and it's unkind. Now granted there are some people who purchase horses and then train them and then sell them. That's, that's like their job. 
That's how a lot of lesson horses get their start, is that they get trained by a professional who is able to dedicate their time and their resources to that horse for a short period, and then enable another child or a teenager or somebody who is older to be able to ride a good horse. And that, I think, is a very worthy goal. However, if you are purchasing a horse and you plan on keeping it for yourself, make sure that one, it's the right horse for you, which might be another video idea. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do a video on how to tell if the horse is right for you. You make sure that the horse is right for you. You make sure that you make sure that you have the resources that you need to be able to keep it. And you make sure that the home that you're giving it is the best home that you could possibly provide. And that is for you to decide how you provide that home as best as you can. Your best might not look like somebody else's best. Some people are natural horsemanship. Some people break their horses. Some people ride English. Others ride Western. Some people do bitless and some people don't do bitless. They use bits. It's up to you. It's up to you how you take care of your horse. Just know that you need to be doing your research and you need to be educated and intelligent about your decisions. If you found this helpful or informative in any way, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And be sure to give it a big thumbs up so that I know you loved it. Keep the crazy and horse crazy, y'all. See you next time. And you make sure that I know your best is that you understand the responsibility and the <coughs> is that you understand the responsibility and commitment that you are dedicating to this creature. How you ride your horse. You can't let anybody else tell you. Or if they're hot temperamented. Is that even a phrase? I don't even know. Is that you understand the responsibility and the commitment that Ah, I have eyelashes.